Hello guys. That was a that was very strange. I'm sorry, but I'm very excited today and and I feel like I'm always very excited uh, to do to start a video because I am very excited. But okay, so guys, cast your mind back to I don't know when the video went up. Was it a few days ago? Was it a week ago? I don't know, but I put up a video where I was basically kind of like raving about all of the fantastic shoes that Shine had to offer because shoes is the one category on Shine that I just had never really even like gave thought to or like looked at because I think I just assumed the shoes were going to be a bit shit and also I think you know shoes tend to be that little bit more expensive than maybe some of the other categories and I was thinking well I don't know if it's worth taking the gamble on whereas it's kind of easy to take a gamble on say even like a top that costs like six pounds well if it turns out to be a bit shit well you only spent six pounds on it whereas with the shoes a lot of the shoes uh, particularly the ones that i kind of like range between 20 pounds to like 35 pounds and i could spend that same amount of money on like you know like a website like shoe or office and actually you know kind of be a bit more reassured of the kind of quality that I was going to be getting so yeah shoes is always like a category that I never really touched with a barge pole until now until now because I was just so entranced and amazed with the category and the amount of shoes that were on offer and how fabulous they all looked and the fact that they had the shoes on the website that I had dreamed about in my mind's eye and that I could not find anywhere else because all I was seeing everywhere else was fecking Chelsea boots. So I spent loads of time looking on all of these other reputable uh, websites that I usually buy shoes from and I could not find the shoe I was looking for. But Shine had about 35 versions of that shoe. So I think the shoes have arrived and the reason why I say think is because I'm I'm not, oh, I think it is. I didn't realise it actually said shine underneath. Well, this is definitely making me feel a lot more confident. These are the shoes. Um, they arrived yesterday. I've not opened this package yet, which I cannot tell you how much willpower I had to have to not rip this open with my teeth because I was so excited. But I'm pretty sure that this is my shoes. But the main thing that gives it away, other than the fact it says shine on it, is the fact that it it's in a shoebox shape and i've not bought any oh i have bought shoes from somewhere else actually apparently i'm obsessed with shoes all of a sudden but okay so guys shall we just open these up and see i spent i think 35 pounds on these shoes i'm not 100 percent sure i'm gonna put up a picture here so that you can see how the shoes are advertised what they look like in the photos and also i can confirm the price for you but whilst you're just having a look at that <gasps> I'm going to open the shoes. Oh my gosh, like, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. And, but also a little bit nervous because I did spend a lot of money on these shoes. Oh, you know, I can't talk while I'm trying to rip this open because I feel like you can't hear anything I'm saying and you still can't. So why am I still talking? I don't know. Honestly, I actually feel quite nervous about this because these shoes are the most expensive item I've ever purchased on Shine. And do you think I'm being irrational being all nervous about this? Or is that just like a me thing? I don't know, but anyway, so this is the box and I, a little bit unfortunate, it does seem to have encountered a little bit of a stomping issue or something has happened. Um, So that's very sad and I imagine must have been extremely traumatizing for my boots you know what i mean so uh, but it's fine they're only boots so okay Woo! Woo! okay guys i'm so excited i'm gonna stand up for this i can't sit down any longer i'm just i've got too much nervous energy oh, this is the, the most trickiest box in the world to open why is it this tricky like why would it be this difficult do i go like this why can i not oh my oh my gosh guys this is impossible it's impossible to open oh you just open it like that okay so that makes a lot more sense now <gasps> okay so this is the moment this is what they look like inside so they've been carefully wrapped which is quite handy considering that the box had been stomped on i mean really thank you royal mail for that oh my gosh each shoe comes 
it in his own little pouch. That's so cool. Oh my gosh. So guys, are you ready for this? I don't know if I'm ready for this. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh, okay. I can see the massive feck off heel already. Oh, ooh. Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay. Initial thoughts are, yes, perfection. This is exactly what I wanted and you know what I really like as well about this this boot it's very light it's very light I've had boots like this in the past and they've weighed a ton and they'd be so uncomfortable and like when you're walking about it feels like you you've got like you know weights on your feet but this I mean it it feels like barely anything like I can barely feel this so I like that um although I suppose the fact that it's very light maybe means the quality may not be great but who gives a shit about that? You know, I just want to be able to move around with ease. And I know, right, I've just realised, I've just fucking realised something as well. So I was going on about Chelsea boots. Oh, Chelsea boots are everywhere. I don't want any Chelsea boots. Uh, no, Chelsea boots, they're not for me. Not for me. And you know what I've just realised? These are Chelsea boots, aren't they? Like that is a Chelsea boot, but just with a massive feck off heel. Okay, so this is the other one, um, as as expected. It's, it is a mirror image of the other one, so that's great. I'm gonna just get rid of this box because I, I just don't want it. Look, Luna, we have a box. The cats love a box. And also one of the cats has definitely pooped downstairs and that smells, but anyway. Right, so guys, I'm gonna try on the boot. We're gonna try on the boot. Try on the boots for the Virgin Voyage. Virgin Voyage! Okay, so I got these in a size 35, which apparently is, um, so it's Euro size 35, and it's um, a UK size three, because I have tiny little feet. Ooh, they feel a bit tight. Do you know what? I was concerned they were gonna feel a bit loose, but if anything, it does feel a bit tight. That's what she said. So they feel, oh, I feel bad because you cannot see them. Let me just adjust. Okay, so guys, here they are, here they are. Look at them. I mean, they feel kind of comfy, but honestly, like, uh, yeah, I think that these would actually end up being quite uncomfortable if you were, you know, doing a lot of walking in them or wearing them all day. And they are a little bit tight, you know. Um, I'm going to try and show you without showing you my vagina at the same time. But, you know, around this area here, it just feels quite tight. And because they're like a platform, my foot, I'm going to come down. Hi. Hi, guys. Oh, this is a great filming filming location. But because my foot, like from where my heel is, it kind of goes down. It's kind of forcing a bit more pressure on that tight area. So I feel like that could maybe be a little bit a little bit painful. I mean, I love them. They look great. They're exactly what I wanted. I mean, look. I mean, look. I mean, look. I mean, they. They. Yeah. I. Can, I. I really like them. I mean, they. They've got great massive feck off heel. They are a little bit uncomfy, but that's probably to be expected with this level of extravagant boot. The quality feels good. You definitely could maybe get a bit better quality elsewhere, but seeing as no one is making boots this fabulous, um, I suppose I'll have to just, I'll just put up with the quality. I feel bad, you're only seeing my legs. Okay, I'm back. I'm back, I'm at a funny angle, but it's fine. So I might go like this, so you can see the boots as I'm talking. but. Yeah, I think, yeah, the quality is not like 100% what I would want. But I think the fact that the look of the boot is everything that I dreamed about, you know, in my wild, wildest boots fantasy, then I can't really complain. Um, do I think they're the best quality? Defo, defo not. You know, the aesthetic of them, it wins me over and I can put quality to one side because they look great and i'm literally only going to be wearing these boots for my once a week trip to the office and most of the time hopefully i'll be sat down if i'm gonna have a day where i'm gonna be busy i'll just bring my like my flat shoes to run about in and then i'll pop these on maybe just for when i'm sat down i can be sat down looking fabulous but i mean guys i have to say overall very impressed very impressed um maybe i overpaid a little bit for them like maybe they should be priced maybe more around like the 25 pound mark i would say but 
Yeah, I think they, they've they turned up looking at how they look in the photos. I, you know, sometimes, though, right, I am a bit cynical. Like, sometimes I feel like, do they... You, you know, for, like, the photos that we see on Shine, do they make things, like, perfect? Perfect. So they, they put the best quality materials in, like, the highest quality materials in, so that that item just looks outstanding on those advertising photos. But then when it gets to you, it's a bit more kind of like, oh, shit. I don't know, but I'm not saying these are shit. I really like these, but... I um, think they don't look exactly how I thought they were going to look, but they're still great. I don't want to be negative here at all because I really am so happy. I would definitely rate these a 8 out of 10. They're everything that I expected. Uh, they're just a tiny bit comfy, but I would expect that from this you know, level of extravaganza boots. Okay, so it's the next day. I'm in the office and I am premiering my brand new boots. So they're on now. I didn't drive to work in them because, oh my gosh, I was not feeling that confident. But I've just popped them on now in the car. They are looking good. And I'm, I mean, I'm sat down, so they're feeling very comfy. But anyway, I am going to go and and literally sashay into their office today and it's friday as well so if there's ever a day to sashay into the office today is that day and i've got my new boots on and i'm feeling fabulous and i'm about 10 inches taller so oh my gosh watch out colleagues i am coming in hot today so there they are they're on excuse the state of my car and oh yes uh, my sweet addiction has been revealed oh my gosh like oh i just have a thing for sweets by the way do you like my nails as well anyway that's my nails okay so anyway it's all about the shoes today though do, do, do. these boots were not made for walking oh that was just the fire department coming to collect me because they said you are looking too hot today in those boots okay so i am actually going in now i'm going in i'm a bit nervous oh my gosh a bit nervous i've got that um first time wearing your new boots anxiety but i'm fine okay i mean you've got this you can do this okay guys i will let you know how i go on and how comfy these shoes are i will let you know okay So I've literally only had the boots on for about 25 minutes at this point and they're already hurting. I have a feeling that this is going to be one of those situations where it's style over comfort. You know what I mean? If I wanted to be comfy, I'd have my trainers on, but I want to look fabulous. You know what I mean? Uh, so I've, I've got to deal with the pain, but they are quite painful, honestly. Just towards the toe and I, I have got shoes at home that are not as high as these but you know quite close and they're not that painful because they're more wedges like a wedge style so anyway yeah just an update there comfort level is currently five out of ten okay so i'm back home now and i have to admit it was a huge relief to get my big chunky comfy buffalo boots on on the way back home i however i do have to say that the the big chunky boots from shine they did in a weird kind of way they felt more comfy the longer i, I had them on although like my feet are kind of aching now but i definitely think that you know what if you are committed to looking spicy and sassy and fabulous and if you want to like feel fabulous and elevated and you know, I just feel like heels, like for me, definitely, they give me a little bit more confidence. And I know it probably sounds really silly, but because I am so small, I'm 5'1", I sometimes feel like, I don't know, I just feel like a bit more confident. Like, I feel like a supermodel, okay, when I've got those high boots on. I do. I feel like everywhere I'm walking, I am walking on a catwalk. There's pros and cons. The cons, a bit painful, but the pros, 
I feel like a supermodel. So yeah, I actually think the shoes are great. I think for what they are, they're actually fairly comfy and I think they're good value for money, but I do think that if I had to guess their price, like if I didn't know compared to other boots that I've had in the past and other boots that I've seen about from like other like very well-known boot brands, I would say maybe they're a bit expensive and they should probably be I'd say like £20 would be a bit more reasonable to be honest but if you are looking for a really good pair of boots that aren't too uncomfy but look fabulous and make you feel like a supermodel then I would recommend Shine boots and I've only tried one pair the rest could be shit okay so I really just wanted to add this in because I have now posted my initial video just talking about how great all the Shine shoes looked and I was reading through all of your comments the other day and there were lots of you guys who said that you'd tried out Shine shoes and you had loads of them in your shoe collection and that actually they were really good, like really good shoes for the price. So I just wanted to update everyone to say my last video where I was talking about Shine shoes, your responses were overwhelmingly positive about Shine shoes. Titty shake. I give them eight out of 10, to be honest, um, because yeah, I'm, I'm happy with them. It, they definitely were not a disappointment, but when they turned up, they did look a bit cheaper, uh, maybe a bit tackier than I thought they were, but I don't mind because like, they're fine. I just think they were maybe a bit overpriced for what they have. So keep that in mind. You know, if you're looking around on Shine, you know, if there's a pair of boots you like on she Shein, I keep thinking, I mean, you're saying it wrong. Shein, it's Shein, but I, I don't want to say Shein. Anyway, I feel like say if there's a pair of boots you like on Shein, okay, Shein, uh, and there's a pair of boots on an office or another well-known, like, big popular shoe website brand or whatever, then if they're like a very similar price, I probably could be tempted to go for the probably the more reputable one or, it, you know, because the Shine ones aren't actually that cheap. They're not like really that budget, I wouldn't say, to be honest. Um, some of them are, some of them aren't, you know what I mean? A little bit of this, a little bit of that. But anyway, guys, I'm going to go now. I'm ending the video here, but I hope that you enjoyed this kind of unboxing, literally unboxing of the shoes and um, just like a first impression. Oh my gosh, I don't think I've ever done a boot first impression before in all my time on YouTube. So this is like a momentous occasion and I've enjoyed it and I hope you enjoyed it too. But anyway, I am going to toddle off now because I'm not wearing my pantsy boots. So I'm not going to sashay, I'm toddling off in my, look, this is what I've got on at the moment. These are my oh, comfy as fuck. Ugg slippers. Honestly, if you do not have a pair of Ugg slippers, like, what the fuck are you doing? Like, really, these are so comfy. They do have a little a little band that goes around the back like that. I'm going to have to do a video of all my favourite things, I think, and these shoes will definitely be in that video. But anyway, I'm going to go, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!